Assalamu alaikum. Uh, in, our, in our previous sessions, we discussed about the types of salat, and uh, we mentioned that uh, in uh, fard salat there are fard ain and fard kifaya. And under the fard ain, we said that there are five salat. That is uh, fard, dhuhr, as, maghrib, and isha. And uh, it is a must for every Muslim that is mature Muslim to perform these uh, salat and if one fails then he or she earns sins for it then we have Fardain Fardain is whereby if uh, one misses or if nobody prays salat kifaya uh, that is uh, the prayer Kifaya prayer, a part of Kifaya prayer, then everybody gets a sin. But if one person performs it, then the sin is lifted for others. So that's why you're saying it is part of the Kifaya. And we give an example and uh, for the Kifaya as a Salat uh, Janaza, Salat Janaza, that is the prayer for the funeral. So let's talk about Salat and Janaza under a prayer for special occasion because it is, should be an occasion and then you pray. So uh, our occasion here is when somebody has died. So as Muslims, we have, it is a must to perform Salat and Janaza. And uh, this is how it looks like. There is the deceased. And then these are the Muslims who are performing Salat al Janaza. So he is saying Salat al Janaza is for the Kifaya, as we say earlier. That is, if one performs the prayer, then all are free of the responsibility. So or the, uh, the sin is lifted. If even one person in the society performs it, then uh, the sin is lifted for all. So. It is prayed in Jama'ah, that is congregation. It's not a, a, a condition. You can pray alone or uh, in congregation. So it is not a condition that it must be performed in congregational prayer. So for this prayer, as it is sufficient, even if one person prays it. So you can pray in congregation or you can uh, pray alone, as we saw here, uh, that this is congregation. But if it's just one person, assume it, it's the, only the, the imam here, it's only the imam, then that is accepted because they're saying it can be prayed by one uh, person and the sin is lifted for the rest. <coughs> so, uh, this is a prayer performed for the dead, as you say, it's either a deceased person, then people, the Muslims perform that prayer for that deceased person. When a Muslim passes on, it is the responsibility, it is our duty now, or the duty of those who are around him during the time of his or her death to uh, wash the body first and pray for it. So now if a Muslim dies, then it becomes the responsibility of the people around him or her now to wash the body, then also to pray Salat al Jannah is a, a for him or her or for it because now it's a deceased person. So on the prayer, on the prayer of Janaza, Aisha radiallahu anha narrated by Allah, the Messenger of Allah offered funeral prayer in mosque for the son of Ba'idah, that is Sahla, Sahl al Suhay, that's according to a Muslim. And there are three parts of the, this prayer. We have to say Takbirat al-Ihram, that is Allahu Akbar. Then we have another part is Qiyam, which has three Sunnah Mu'akkadah, that is Sana, Durud, and Dua for the deceased. We'll talk about this as we continue. Then and the last part is giving the Salam, say the Salam. So these are the three parts of Salat al-Janaisa. So how do we perform Salat al-Jannah is now? And we start with the Niyyah. So the performer should make the intention that I make the Niyyah 
Dunya for the prayer of this janaza for Allah, the dua for this deceased behind the Imam. So that is the niya. One can make the niya. Then another uh, uh, step is takbiratul ihram. So here the performers should raise their hands to their ears, fold their hands underneath the navel as usual. How we pray it as usual. Well, say Allahu Akbar and read sana. So let's look what sana means. What tana? Sometimes they refer it as tana. So in Thana Dasa, we'll uh, look at it later on and watch how you can uh, read it in Arabic. So let's first start with the English version. So in Thana or Thana, you say, Glory be to you, O Allah, and praise be to you, and blessed is your name, and exalted is your majesty, and there is none to be served beside you. That is Thana. Then another step is then raise the hands, say Allah Akbar, and read the Durud Ibrahim. What Ibrahim? Uh, in English, you say, Oh Allah, show your mercy upon Muhammad and the followers of Muhammad as you showed your mercy upon Ibrahim and the followers of Ibrahim. Behold, you are praiseworthy, glorious. O oh Allah, shower your blessings upon Muhammad and the followers of Muhammad. As you shower uh, your blessings upon Ibrahim and the followers of Ibrahim, behold, you are praiseworthy, glorious. So that is the root Ibrahim. Then another step is then raise the hands, say Allahu Akbar, and read the dua. So there are three types of dua that you can read. If it's an adult, it's a man or a woman, then you can read one dua. But if it's a girl or boy, then it's a difference. We'll talk about that. Let's start with the dua for an adult man or woman. In English, you say, Oh Allah, Forgive those of us that are alive and those of us that are dead. Those of us that are present and those of us who are absent. Those of, uh, of you, of, of us who are young and those of us who are adults. Our males and our females. Oh Allah, whosoever you keep alive, let him live as a follower of Islam. And whosoever you come, uh, you cause to die, let him die a believer. So that is for adults. Then let's look at a boy. If it's a boy who has died, then you say, Oh Allah, make him, that is this child, a source for our salvation and make him a source of reward and treasure for us and make him an intercessor for us and one whose intercession is accepted. That is the dua for a boy. Then the dua for a girl is, Oh Allah, make her, that is this child, a source for our salvation and make her a source of reward and treasure for us and make her an intercessor for us and uh, one whose intercession is accepted. So that is a dua for uh, the girl. The next step is the last step that is, after the dua, say Allahu Akbar, then you drop the hands and then turn the head both sides for salam. Because we say it is just three parts, so the last part is salam. Let's watch. Let's watch. In our second part, we will watch uh, how to perform Salat of Janaza. Just a second. 
Introduce the next video. Introduce the next. 